Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Blindside Fresno. My name is Darcy Elliott and I'm here today with our guests, uh, Nikki and Mary Beth. And our topic for the day is um, apps that are available on our phones and our computers and our personal devices and how they can help enhance and make life easier for the blind and people with low vision. So thank you ladies for joining us and Welcome to Blindside Fresno. Thank we're glad you. you could be here. Um, as usual, we're just going to jump right in. We'll start with Nikki. Maybe you can share with us a little bit about your story and your level of vision. And then we'll talk to Mary Beth and then we'll talk about some apps. Okay. So I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 11. So I have had it. And so due to complications with the diabetes, I lost my eyesight a little over four years ago. Um, I have two things wrong with my vision. I have what's called diabetic retinopathy and then I also have glaucoma in both eyes. So it wasn't enough to give me just one. I got two things oh. wrong. So I have total blindness so I don't have any light perception. I don't see shadows or anything. It's a blank canvas. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well thank you for sharing that with us. Mm -hmm. And Mary Beth? How about you share with us as well? Well, I am what was called a rubella baby. Okay. My mother had the German measles with me while pregnant. And so when I was born, um, all of the disabilities that I've developed came from that. And okay. so I have um, glaucoma that's related to the rubella. I have hearing issues related to the rubella and a number of other disabilities. Oh, okay. Um, for myself, I have absolutely no vision in the one eye, and I'm very low vision in the right. And so I'm able to use some vision with the right eye, and, um, but at the same time, I like to utilize speech and things like that uh, because sometimes that's just faster okay. than trying to look at stuff. So while Nikki doesn't really have the option, of using low vision, you kind of can do a hybrid thing. Yes. But whatever works easiest for you. Mm -hmm. That's okay. correct. We'll start with Nikki, mm -hmm. since she's on the far. What's what's your favorite app that makes your life easier? One that I've actually just discovered I've been obsessed with and I use it constantly is, <laughs> is the Walmart. And that's something that I've maybe been using for about three or four months, using for about three or four months now and it's just been a life changer. It's so much easier just for simple household things and, and just taking care of like my basic shopping that I have to do sometimes uh, because I'm able to go through there and I can pick through, because being a girl, like, you know, if I go to the store with whoever I go to the store with that has sight and they, if I want to get like body wash or anything like that, they have to, usually name off like a bunch of different ones because I'm picky about like, okay. you know, what brand do you have, mm -hmm. what, so with this app I can go through and I can do all the shopping myself and I can go through all the various options because there's so much out there now and so I can go through and pick through all the stuff myself without having to be at the store for hours and it's super convenient because I can, you know, once I put everything in my cart and make my purchase, I have the option to do free in-store pickup. Or if uh, you want to have it delivered to your house, you don't even have to have somebody help you go to the store and get it. You can actually have it delivered to your house. So. Yes, and we've talked many times about how transportation is a, a barrier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, oh, I'm going to run down to Walmart and pick up some shampoo is not always the easiest, but if they'll right. just bring it to your house, mm -hmm. yeah. that would definitely be helpful for almost anybody, really. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Now, do you like Walmart, in, and we're not advocating any particular brand, we're just saying what we use on a daily basis, I guess, <coughs> but do you just like Walmart just because of the prices or ease of use, or is there other stores that have the same option? Yeah, I, I like the ease of use, you know, and, and the pricing generally is really good. Um, I was discussing it with somebody, and someone was telling me that I guess Target has a similar 
format that they have done. Okay. Uh, I have yet to download that app or try to use it, but as far as I understand, they do kind of the same setup where it's you can go through the app and they do like a okay. two-day pickup. You know, you could pick up free at the yeah. store and stuff. And so. I would assume like with Walmart, you have the option of not only just buying like personal items like that, but groceries as well. Am I correct in that? Yes. Uh, as far as the dry items, uh, I've noticed I've gone through there and tried to search for like the cold items and stuff like that. And I haven't seen that through that particular app that you can okay. do that. But I, I know I've talked to other people and they say that there are different apps that you can do like the grocery pickup for like cold items. But right now through the app that I use, it like if you wanted to get bread or cookies, items that are not okay. you know not needing refrigerated, refrigerated or frozen, or frozen right. then okay. you can do it. Because I have ordered some items that were food items um, uh, okay. and and been able to do the pickup service. I can so. see that makes sense. They don't want to take responsibility for yeah, making sure yeah. it's cold long enough to get. And if they left it on your front porch or something, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so and I know lots of like. Other stores, I see Costco in our town now delivers and Smart and Final. And I don't know if these are, sh you know, shops that you have where you're at, but I'm sure there's plenty around, especially the larger chains mm -hmm. that are going to be capable of doing that now, right? Yeah, it's really starting to come up a lot of yeah. places. And there are, I know um, one of my friends was talking about another app, Instacart, which I mm -hmm. haven't used yet either. But as far as I know, that app is it connects with stores that participate in that, like Costco, Yeah, and they will do the delivery within a two-hour window. Okay, and so that's Instacart. Yeah. So yeah, I have heard of that one as yeah. well. And we, William and I laugh a little bit because everybody here is like, this is amazing, this is a great new development. But as you know, William is British, and this, this concept has been around for 20 years. Yeah. In fact, before he went blind, he was a delivery driver, and that's what he did is people ordered online, and he brought them their groceries. So, mm. I mean, we're just a little bit behind the curve here yeah. in the United States where that sort of thing. Of course, they, didn't, they had online, but they didn't have an app, I bet. I'm sure Tesco and Asda have an app now in England, I'm sure. So, yeah. um, All right, Mary Beth. What's your favorite app and how does it help you? Well, I'll start with a similar kind of thing. Okay. Um, Amazon okay. is one of my favorite apps. I have a lot of favorite apps. Uh, well, I mean, I'm like but, uh, addicted you know, to Amazon, Amazon myself. Amazon is definitely so. for me yeah, a, a, very fa a good favorite because I can do so much through Amazon. I can mm -hmm. buy computer stuff. I can buy clothes. I can buy you know, whatever comes to your brain, yeah. you can look it up and the ease of using the app is really good. And I think for me, with low vision, if I want to use just low vision, um, my vision, I would need to use my web browser versus the app because it's not as easy to enlarge the screen, oh, I see. but it is possible. And so when I'm using the actual app, uh, using it with speech is often the best way for me to deal with it. And I will say that Amazon, there's also one available for Google, for those who use Google products. You can do shopping through both Amazon and Google and get everything across the board from okay dry products to cold products, okay. um, and all of that stuff can be delivered yeah, to your as home. Yeah, because of, as of the time of this taping, it was only a few months ago that Amazon bought Whole Foods. Right. And they're going to start venturing into that market too, delivering food to mm -hmm. your home, right? Yes. So that, that you might never have to leave your house again. I, I know. know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I might come to that. I don't know. Well, uh, I just think about all the stuff I've bought like in the last month. Okay. I didn't have to leave home <laughs> for well, any of it. That could be good, I mean, depending on where you're like, at. And yeah. Like, um, all right. So Nikki, you had another one that you were going to share with us. <coughs> yeah, I use the Bard website, which is available through the Talking Books Library. Okay, and that's Bard, like B-A-R-D. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I I 
was a huge book reader before I lost my eyesight. Yep. So when I had found out, I originally signed up through the Talking Books Library before having a smartphone. So they had sent a device and you could send out through the mail uh, for the tapes to come in to play in the player. But okay. once I got my smartphone, then I found out about the web, the app and downloaded the app and oh my gosh, it's like. So to clarify, BARD is basically books read by a human being Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, and you just download them for free if you're registered with Talking Books right. Library, right, mm -hmm. for the blind. Yes. And, and then you get the app and you can just download whatever books you want that are available. Yeah. So they have a catalog that you can go through and search and they have different categories like they have, you could search through the most downloaded books, you know, popular ones or recently added titles, or if you know the author or the title, then you can just browse the catalog that way and specifically type in the search. So, okay. yeah, I was able to reread all the Harry Potter books through oh, there. And very nice. <laughs> A lot so, of fun, yeah. Yeah. And just to, just to, um, how would you describe the availability of books? Is it like, well, they don't really have bestsellers, or they just only have older books, or do you find it's, they pretty much have almost anything you'd want? Well, when I've gone through there, like, you know, they have the Harry Potter books, which are older, but they are, they were bestseller books. They right. have a lot of Nicholas Sparks. So they, they do have bestsellers on there. I do notice that they don't always have the most current book titles. So okay. books mm -hmm. that were released, you know, maybe within the next, you know, the last six months on, you know, normal bookshelves, they don't necessarily have access to just, okay. you know, because they haven't quite got them yet. So, you know, it so is So you might have to wait way. a little bit for the the brand brand new books, but yeah. the upside is is they're totally free. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's right. True. So, if you're willing to hold yeah. out and uh, you might save yourself cuz some of those Audible books are very expensive, you know, yeah. uh 30, 40, 50 dollars sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, that's Bard, and I know they are uh, the people who read the books are volunteers. So maybe they mm -hmm. just have it takes time to record all that. Um, yeah. So, so Bard, excellent. All right, Mary Beth, what's another one that you want to share with us today? Well, an app that I use, and it's not something that I need every day, but it's I use it often enough that um, I it's up there with my favorites. Okay. It's called The Seeing AI, and basically what it is, it's an app that gives you the ability to keep track of products and items. You can do reading um, of, like, say, a manual. You could read the manual to a product. Okay, so does this work with the camera function on your phone? It works with the camera function, that's correct. Okay. So it's a free app, and so you would, let's say I have one of my hand lotions, I have three different ones in my purse. I don't know which one is which. I can go into the app and have it look at that item, okay. and it will then read to me. Oh, this is the lavender the, one, or this is the right rose. I don't know what other. So. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, I find it especially useful um, as a business person myself right it helps me with identifying products um, for selling to my customers or if I'm getting prepared to go somewhere where I'm going to sell things I can go through stuff and say okay I want this I want that right and it right. helps a lot it's in so is it just kind of an all-purpose reading like can you read a recipe or you can read recipes oh absolutely or you like could, uh, is this a can of tomato soup or mushroom soup mm -hmm. kind of thing? Or so it's just a general purpose? It's a general purpose app, yeah. Okay. I've never actually tried to use soup or any of that right. yet. That'll be a little homework you assignment know what? for you, Mary Beth. That'll be something I'll go home and try it out. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> like I could imagine you go to the store, even right. though you could buy it online now, but right. if you go to the store, they just have cans, and you don't know what's in the cans if you can't right. see the labels. And exactly, and this would be actually one of the apps that I would definitely recommend um, there are some other barcode reading apps yeah. that are just as adequate for taking, 
your phone with you to the store and and all the ones we've mentioned are free apps that's correct right mm -hmm. I think that's important because you do need to check I think probably before you just start downloading apps because mm -hmm. some of the apps that I know people use uh, there's there's one similar to kind of what you're describing or that will read things for you but it's almost like a hundred dollars for that. yeah app. it's called the era app and it works with a set of glasses that you wear mm. and now There's have, actually a person. Yeah, I where haven't if seen you it used, and it is very cool. Towards the thing that yeah. you want to look at, or want to know what it is, that person will then tell you. Yeah. What it is. But there is a cost associated. There's a cost so just associated. Be buyer yeah. beware. I mean, exactly. I'm not saying don't use it, but um, but money is an issue for all of us, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless of your situation. The people that I know that have used it really like it. Okay. And you know, it. Again, you know, everything is dependent on, you know, financial right. stability and all that kind of stuff, whatever is easier for each person. Yeah. So. Okay. So, Nikki, anything else? Uh, an app that just you couldn't live without anymore? Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> ah, and why Netflix? Netflix, because I, I just love to watch, like, shows or TV, you know, and I love that now they're kind of opening and expanding their range of audio description okay. availability. I'm glad you brought that up because I was thinking I can hear a lot of people who can see thinking, why on earth would you want to have a Netflix yeah. app? You can't see <laughs> the show. You know, what difference does it make? And so there's this thing called audio description now. And why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so I... I was, you know, in the blind community for a few months before I even knew. I, I was still going to the movies and just kind of sitting there and just listening and trying to use my imagination. And right. then somebody finally told me, well, do you get the little box? And I was like, what's the box? <laughs> and so I didn't even know about it okay. um, until a little bit in. But yeah, it's, you know, somebody describes in between the dialogue of the movie, mm -hmm. they describe to you the visuals of the movie. So they let right. you know what's going on. And it's amazing. And now that I know about it, I I get really upset when stuff doesn't have it. I'm like, where's the audio description? Yeah, right? Because so, I know for years yeah. when William and I would go to the movies, if somebody was speaking another language and they had the subtitles, oh, yeah. you wouldn't, right? Yeah. I would you have to read the them during the movie to him to know what they were saying. Yeah. And I'm sure people around me are probably like, uh, you know, you're being loud. It's the movie. But yeah. otherwise, how will he know what's going on? But now that does all that for him. He doesn't you know, have to rely on me at all. So, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I know a lot of the newer Netflix programs have it. Yeah. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah, because Netflix is jumping into this whole, and I'm not a promoter for Netflix. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right? Like they're jumping into this whole thing now where they're coming up with a lot of Netflix originals. And so right. basically, most all their Netflix originals they're launching it to where they have the audio description. So, yes. And I'm a huge superhero person, so they have a lot of the Marvel stuff that's on there. So, okay. you know, all the Marvel shows and stuff. So it it's just really good because they have a, a lot of shows, you know, on there that have the audio description. Okay. And so they, they have a category, too. When you go into the app, you can go through the categories, and now they even have it because now they're having – so much on there with the audio description. They right. have an actual category. So you can go to the categories and it's like drama, action, comedy, and there's like at the bottom audio description. So you so can you actually can just browse go through. Ooh. Yeah, so you don't Choose have to click. only audio described. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because wow. so that would save some frustration because you don't, oh, I want to watch this show and right. then only to find out it doesn't have audio description. At least now you can just start with the ones that do. Yeah, because before right. they did, they had that, I would have to sit there and click on something and wait to see if it would start describing it or click mm -hmm. on, you know, right. to try to do the audio description. And now they have, like, you know, like I said, the categories so you can go to it and see what they actually have available. Okay. So finding some of these apps is I would talk to people who use them and or need them and find out what's out there. And, like, what would you say to the person who either, is either new to blindness or new to technology because there are some, you know, statistically a lot of the people that are losing their sight are older people mm -hmm. who may not be as comfortable with some of these smartphone technologies. What would you say to that person, perhaps? 
And I'll let either one of you I was like, take, who's the, gonna, take the floor. Like, who's, 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 who's got the best answer? I don't know. Them. Okay, Mary Beth, uh, you go for I'll, it. Basically, <laughs> I would tell them not to give up. There's so much out there for them to learn that they can learn. Um, a lot of it is getting people set up with services to start with mm. so that they can learn what's out there. Right. In our area, we have places like the Valley Center for the Blind, and in a lot of other regions, there are, are various kinds of um, centers for the blind okay. where they have classes that can teach you how to utilize computers and Gosh, Mary Beth, do you know anybody who would offer a <laughs> I know, I know right? anybody like and that. That's and a personal plug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Mary, in all fairness, Mary Beth's husband, Tom, who has been a guest on our show, that's what he does at Valley Center for the Blind, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, among other things. Among so other things, yeah. There's a plug for Tom. Yeah, right. Tom. Yeah. But, um, but basically, yeah, yeah there's up. this, that it's available out there to learn. Okay. And... Some people are going to be a little bit more <sighs> hesitant. Hesitant. Yeah. Afraid. A little more nervous. hesitant or afraid yeah. to try new things. Whereas you're going to have the ones out there that are just like, I'm ready to jump in and, and learn stuff. I mean, I, I know that Tom has worked with some people in their 80s. Okay. And things like that that are just like, Give me the newest thing to learn. Oh, very cool. You know? See, that's and they're like have ready to, to that go way, and do stuff. And then there's others who are just like so afraid to even touch a screen mm. because they don't. And that's a know shame because, do. as you you said, these are game changers. Mm. Some of these apps that you had, even yes. like um, like Mary Beth arrived here today with Uber or Lyft or one of those, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a game changing app, I would think. Oh, big um, time. For people who can't drive, mm -hmm. instead of relying always on public transportation. I mean, mm -hmm. again, using a hybrid of what works best for you. Right. But like an Uber situation door to door is going to be the way to go sometimes when you don't have the time to do buses and transfers and stuff like that. It took maybe 20 minutes to come down here today yeah. versus on using something like Uber or Lyft versus it would have taken well over an hour right and probably longer mm -hmm. to use public transportation yeah um there is paratransit which is a service for those of us who are blind visually impaired or have other disabilities and that's kind of like a door-to-door -door situation actually they call it a curb-to-curb situation uh setup yes and that, too, can take quite a while because it's a shared ride service. Right. And so there's, there's a lot of different ways of getting to and from places. Right. And sometimes you just want to go jump on a bus. Yeah, I say sometimes <laughs> it, it doesn't matter if it takes an hour, but other times you need to be there in 10 minutes. Yeah, so exactly. Just whatever. Yeah. So, Nikki, what would you share with the person who's not comfortable or unfamiliar with a lot of the apps out there? Yeah, just, you know, like she said, don't give up. And, you know, I, being kind of new to being blind, you know, I I feel thankful that I lost my eyesight when I did because of all the technology advances. Right. And, you know, mm. I actually was stubborn when I first lost my eyesight. I was <sighs> I was using an old school Razor flip phone. Mm. So, and I had friends kept telling me, you have to get an iPhone, you have to get an iPhone. And I was so anti-Apple iPhone. Uh. <laughs> I, was, I was a pro droid user, okay. which mm -hmm. I know that they have, you know, the accessibility too, but oh Absolutely. my gosh, once I got my iPhone though, I'm like, how did I ever live without you? <laughs> yeah. Why was I so stubborn? Yeah, I, yeah, because I'm like, I don't know what I would do without my phone now because they are right. just on a whole other level with the accessibility, you mm -hmm. know. So it's like, yeah, there's all these apps out there, but it really depends on what, you know, you right. have to be willing to get a smartphone that gives you access to them. But, you know, once you do and, and learn how to use them, it's it's a whole other world. It, it just will Very open cool. up so many things. You know, you feel like you might be cut off and and not have access to to do all these things but you know just technology the right. whole world is changing there's so many great mm -hmm. things out there and well I was and, remembering the last time you were on the show and I think somebody asked about how you 
checked your makeup and stuff like that, and were, I think you were telling me you either FaceTime, oh, I or faced, FaceTime yes. your sister I or somebody did. and say, is my makeup on okay? And I'm like, I, yep. and I'm like, wow, that's an amazing idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like yeah. 20 well, years ago, <laughs> 10 years ago, that would not have even been even remotely exactly. thinkable. Yeah. Yeah, and now you could just check your makeup any old time. Yeah. Yep, I just, I was like, sis, I need you to tell me. And she's like, <laughs> She tells me sometimes she's like you you do your makeup better than I do sometimes. Oh, <laughs> but, that's yeah. great. I was like, yeah, and I actually I did that the other day too because you know Amazon using Amazon to order stuff. I had some I got the notification that something was delivered, but I was walking out in my yard and I couldn't figure out where they had set it because oh. they they have. So did whoever you FaceTime delivers. somebody? And yes, I FaceTime my dad and I had the screen out in the yard and I was like. Where's the package? That's hilarious. And no, so that's he was excellent. Able, yeah, he was able to tell me where the package was, and so I walked out and got it. But I was like, yeah, because they just kind of randomly set it somewhere <laughs> in the yard, and I couldn't find it, and yeah, I like, didn't oh, feel like yeah. oh, great. looking forever. Oh, great. Play hide forever. and seek with the blind yeah. girl, right? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Make it so. fun. I need it does come in tape, handy. Tape a bell to it or something. I don't know. Make it easier. Yeah, or they come to my door and knock. Like, I don't yeah. know why they don't There's do that, that anymore. Yeah, well, they're in a hurry, especially yeah. this time of year. Right. So, yes. Anyway, well, you guys, you know what? Believe it or not, it's already time for us to sign off for the day. Oh. Um, it goes by really fast when we just start talking, I know. And we could talk for <laughs> another hour probably, and there's... A million apps for every app we talked about there's a million out there that we didn't oh, oh yeah so exactly. uh, the best advice I would say is just look around talk to people mm -hmm. and find out what they use and why and the advantages and disadvantages and that way you know you don't have to do all the work yourself tap into a place mm -hmm. or with people that know what you're looking for right or what you need because again, it might not even be an app for the blind. It might just be mm -hmm. a commonly used app for anybody. Oh, exactly. I've right. come across more apps that are not necessarily designed for us as blind or visually impaired individuals, um, but they turn out to be absolute gems. Perfect. Yeah. Great. So as we end our show today, <coughs> uh, I would like to thank you all once again for joining us at Blindside Fresno. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please email the producer all our information at the end of the day, at the end of the day. All right, I'm going to pause and do that again. So thank you, everybody, for joining us for another episode of Blindside Fresno. Um, we want to thank our guests, Mary Beth and Nikki, for joining us. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please email the producer. Our information's at the end of the show in the credits. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Have a great day, everybody.